The cheeky little buggers over at the UK Biobank convinced 100,000 people to agree to wear sophisticated accelerometers on their bodies around the clock, revealing their exercise intensity, timing, as well as other physical activity not deemed exercise, like carrying groceries or walking the stairs, and I'm assuming other stuff, like Oh, huh, that's odd. User JQ278 has an overactive accelerometer on his right right forearm. Yeah, oh, maybe he's got some sort of butter churning business or uh, just loves to wave to people. I wonder what that could be. Welcome to Lifespan News, I'm Emmett Short. Today we're talking about a new study published in Nature Communications about exercise and all-cause mortality. And in case you were hoping that maybe this time the data might finally show exercise is bad for you, no, no, once again, data confirmed, you die less when you exercise. The correlation of not dying and exercise grew stronger from zero to 150 minutes of exercise a week and plateaued around 200 minutes per week. This was true for all three types of mortality considered all cause, cardiovascular and cancer. Exercise improved your chances of not dying from cardiovascular issues by four times. Sure, there's no guarantee you'll live longer if you exercise, but at least you'll have an excuse for wearing sweatpants all day. The study mainly looked at MVPA or moderate to vigorous physical activity at certain times of day. The finding was that people who had the bulk of their MVPA, either in the morning or in the evening, didn't get as much of a benefit as those who exercise mostly during midday afternoon or mixed hours. Even in models adjusted for age, sex, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, education level, diet, smoking, alcohol intake, sleep quality, and a total exercise volume, the midday afternoon and mixed group hours showed a whopping 28 and 26% more of a reduction in cardiovascular mortality compared to the morning group. That's a lot. That's a substantial difference. And as someone who gets up early to exercise before work, I just have to say, damn, really? Yeah, really. The researchers mentioned circadian rhythms might affect recovery and that previous studies showed faster recovery of systolic blood pressure after exercise in the late afternoon than in the early morning. So yeah, I guess exercise at certain times of the day might be more effective for certain people, especially those with existing cardiovascular conditions. So again, for my fellow morning workout people, I have to express that that's annoying. If you ask me though, people whose schedule allows them to exercise just smack in the middle of their workday seem to be living a pretty stress-free, happy-go-lucky life in the first place, that might be skewing the results. So when do you exercise and why? And tell us in the comments about your experiences. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you stay up to date on aging research. And that's it. I'm Emmett Short. We'll see you next time on Lifespan News.